Hey guys, so some of you might have noticed that I haven't uploaded a video last Friday. And if you're a loyal follower, you know that I always stick to my uploading schedule. Now I didn't give up on you guys. As a matter of fact, I wanted to do a 4,000 subscriber special. Now the previous special video I did where I gained 2,000 subscribers ended up me dislocating my shoulder. This time I got infected with the coronavirus. I'm currently in isolation, but I'm feeling much better now. And I thought, why not share my story with you on how I experienced the coronavirus? <coughs> but make sure to keep your distance. I'm gonna wear a mask for safety reasons. So you're probably wondering how I got infected in the first place. Not sure if I really should share this with you, but here it goes. Here is a short video on what happened. I don't need this. Hey, Deggy, how's it going, man? You want to play some Call of Duty later? Uh, sorry, man, but today I can't because, you know, my girlfriend is here and we're going to watch some movies later. Okay. Hi, Bennett. Hi, Zarina. Have you heard that? Uh, what was that? Are you expecting someone? No. Hello? <laughs> Holy shit! Guys! What the fuck? Alexa, what's on today's news? Here is your daily news. Breaking news. Some civilians have become aggressive and extremely violent, ruthlessly attacking anyone. This phenomenon, which began as a small riot in the Longstreet district, is spreading rapidly. It seems to have already spread beyond Zurich to a national scale. The government is considering declaring a state of emergency at this moment. What? 
Did you expect something else? It was a freaking zombie invasion. To be honest, we, my girlfriend and I, probably got infected at my friend's birthday party since a lot of my friends there got symptoms as well and were tested positive. Being in isolation isn't so fun. You're at home the whole day and sort of feel like a prisoner. Now we had the luxury that we had the whole apartment to us. Some of my friends were in shared apartments, meaning that they had to stay in their small rooms. I soon came to realize that the best area was our balcony. It felt really nice to just go out and feel the sun and also talk to our neighbors. When I did the balcony scene, I had to do a few takes and an old woman asked me from the other side if I was stalking her because I kept looking at her direction while also ducking myself constantly. But eventually her house exploded. I told her that I was uh, making a short film and we both laughed. Now I actually planned a different video for this week. I wanted to do a smartphone gimbal review, but I felt really weak and tired uh, on that day. At night, it hit me, I had high temperature and was shivering. The next day I consulted my family doctor and took the test. So I'm on my way now to get the corona test. I feel like shit. Two days, I got a call and they said I was positive and instructed me to stay at home. Since Sina had the symptoms too, she took the test as well and got tested positive. We felt very ill that day. Sina had fever and felt the chills. And the other day, she was soaked in sweat as if she's been in the sauna. The only thing we could really do is watch Netflix. We watched like two seasons of Cobra Kai in just two days. If you don't know Cobra Kai, it's like a continuation of Karate Kid, which we really enjoyed watching. By then, I mastered karate. As the fever went away, we had this metallic taste in our mouths. Also, my eyes got pretty light sensitive. I had a strong headache as if someone uh, would push out my eyes. What really helped me was drinking enough water and tea. Every morning, we had our bottles filled with water that we drank. My girlfriend had a shortness of breath, which lasted around half a day. The next couple of days, we felt better. We had more appetite, but had no sense of taste at all. It's strange because I didn't have a blocked nose. I could still breathe freely. We had Fotzelschnitte for breakfast. If you're not familiar with Fotzelschnitte, it's basically sliced bread dipped in egg, fried in butter and served with cinnamon sugar. It's really delicious. Anyway, as I ate, it tasted like carton. No matter what I ate, it tasted like nothing, which means I can now eat vegetables that I didn't like before. Great. We also couldn't really smell if the food was good or not. It took us almost six days until we got our tastes back and it felt really frustrating because we couldn't enjoy our meals at all. Days can get pretty long when you're in isolation, but since my friends were in the same situation, we made daily FaceTime calls, which made our day more exciting. It felt good exchanging our experience. We also had friends and families who called us that wanted to help if we needed anything. Even my girlfriend's niece brought us a delicious cake. I'm really glad that we are recovering well. Same to say for my friends out there. We still have a couple of days in isolation, but hopefully we can be symptom free by then. So I hope this story made you a little bit more aware of the coronavirus pandemic situation. I've seen it at the party. So many friends got infected by it quickly with all the misleading information out there. It's definitely something to take serious. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video.